what's your financial goal? You want more money? Turn what you know into dough. Start hanging out with the people who have it. You create wealth on your own terms. It is not only your rights, but your duty to build wealth. You are fiscally fabulous, and it's time to enjoy your legacy. You're listening to Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire, a podcast that aims to provide you with the tools, guidance, and encouragement you need to build your wealth, enjoy your wealth, and leave a lasting legacy. Dr. Martin is an accomplished attorney, speaker, business consultant, and real estate strategist, an all-around self-made success who provides highly sought-after expert consulting in the creation, growth, and maintenance of generational wealth. Hi, Fabulous. It's Dr. Teresa Martin, your favorite legal and business strategist, and you're tuned in to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle, the voice of legal, business, and real estate. And we have a great continuation show for you today, so you want to stay tuned. We'll be right back. For many women entrepreneurs, the struggle is real. We arose becoming stronger with every fight. Wealth is what we built from that together. A wealth of resources, a wealth of knowledge, and a wealth of powerful businesswomen. When you are ready to achieve financial freedom and become fiscally fabulous, call. It will not be wealth that empowered your success. It will be this call. EnjoyYourLegacy.com, 646-437-7139. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. I'm Dr. Teresa. We are having a great conversation and we couldn't let it end. So we are going to continue our conversation with Coach William Moore regarding business credit, but we're going to dive into real estate. Mm, okay. All right. Uh-huh. All right. So when we left off, we talked about, you know, what they needed to do um, to build business credit as far as getting their office and, you know, mm. getting their websites and bank accounts. But in the real estate space, what things do you see most when people approach us when we come to real estate? Since you're the director of membership. Right. So when people call you, what are the things that they're asking you about real estate? Really asking me, you know, where are the best markets they can invest in, but really the how to, what do I need to get started? Um, and so what I always do is I try to break down, okay, give me an idea of, you know, what's going to be your strategy, what's going to be your niche and what's going to be your market. Now, when I say niche, it really means your specialty, single family, multiple family, commercial, whatever. Those three questions have to be answered. And what I'm finding out is that most people just don't know. You know, so what we do is, OK, we're going to work with you and getting those three questions answered, because after those three are answered, then I got to get on the next one, which are resources. What's your credit like? OK, what, what type of money are we working with type deal? Because we can get those answered. Now we can direct them to where they're trying to go. And most of the time we find that a lot of people who want to start real estate, they looked at some infomercial, mm -hmm. right? And they believe that they can do real estate with no money, no credit, you know? Um, and I'm not saying you got to use your money and you got to use your credit, but mm -hmm. you got to use somebody's money and Correct. somebody's credit. All right. Correct. That's real estate. Mm -hmm. um, but what are the things that you tell them regarding, you know, if they have limited resources? Okay. So the whole thing is in real estate. You know, people are very myopic. They think about me, 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 I, I, I. They're not recognizing that you can actually pull your source together. In other words, whatever it is that you're lacking, you can find someone that actually has what you're lacking and you guys can come together. And so I try to create what we call, you know, these power teams in which you have a strategist. That's the person who's the expert in whatever strategy that you're trying to do. So that's why we have to know what strategy you're looking at, okay? Then I want somebody who's a managing partner. The managing partner really is a person who's like the spokesmodel of the group. In other words, I'll be dealing with the strategist and then I'll let you guys know, you know what's been said, what's been done. Then of course, we're looking for a credit partner, somebody who has good credit and we're hoping 720 or higher, you know, which would be ideal. And then of course, the person, the money person, the person who's gonna provide the funds, you know, obviously they actually have resources where they can do that. If we can get those entities together, then we can actually now help them what they're trying to do because they'll see in time they can actually get more. So just imagine that you're a person, you have very little knowledge. You now join this team. What you're doing is you're learning the game. You're seeing how everything works. Now you've gotten some resources on your own. Guess what you can start doing? You can actually start doing things on your own, which is fine. But then you can actually break off and you can actually start another team. And we've had so many people in the group who have done that. You know, and they would come to me in the credit world and then they end up in the real estate world or they come into the real estate world. They end up in the credit right. world, you know, 
Now these people, because they built all these assets, guess what they need now? They need business credit because they're now in the business of real estate. So that's how it kind of all comes together. And I love that because a lot of times when we talk about power teams mm -hmm. and when people come to um, our association and they, they, they want to do real estate, we say we're not like everyone that's else. That's right. That's All right, right, we're focused on entrepreneurship first. Mm -hmm. We're focused on building wealth. And these are some of the things that a lot of people are missing because people will tell you what you need to do. They'll tell you, you know, uh, why you need to do it. But we actually focus on the implementation on building wealth through real estate. I agree. And, and I love it. I, I, I love it. And I love <laughs> the fact that through the years we've been able to transition because when people see RIA NYC, they always start in New York City. And when we began, it was. But now we're NY, NYC stands for now, now you can. can because we don't care what happened in the past. When you walk through these doors, now you can. We don't care, you know, you've had success other places and now you're trying to bring us with your brilliance. That's great. What we're telling you is that now you can because you're good. Can you duplicate what you've done? Because if you can duplicate that, now you can start leaving legacies. And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right? It's not about your success. It's about the success footprint that you can leave for others to follow, yeah. like the little breadcrumbs, right? <laughs> exactly. So I, I love that. And when we come back from our break, I mm -hmm. definitely want to talk about how people can get started about building their um, power team okay. and, you know, what they need to do because, you know, this is all great, but how do you put this in practice, right? Exactly. So when we come back after the break, we'll continue this conversation about business credit and real estate. So much has changed in the world. And reasons for legal counsel are many. With the law offices of Teresa R. Martin PC, you walk in looking for solutions, but when you walk out, you walk out with a growth mission and a support network. Get an attorney in real estate and business who knows and understands how to eliminate debt. Teresa has built an empire designed to grow businesses and strengthen communities. MartinLegal.com Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle with Dr. Teresa. We have been speaking with Coach William Moore about business credit and real estate. And I want to continue this conversation because it was getting ready to get juicy before the break. <laughs> so one of the things that we did mention about, you said RIA NYC mm -hmm. um, does no longer stands for New York City. It stands for Now You Can. So what would you say is our best process and feature on helping people become successful real estate investors? Well, you know, we're a very big, big system oriented type of company and system actually stands for save yourself time, energy and money. Stop trying to figure things on your own. So how do we get started? Well, I mentioned before, if we can get those three questions about market niche and if we get those answered, that'd be great. But if we can't and we bring some into our group, first thing we're going to do is we want to do uh, like an assessment on them. So we have them take like a little assessment quiz. There's 37 questions. There's no wrong right answers. We want to get an idea of just what your knowledge of real estate in. I remember when I first went to school back so many years ago, you know, they had to take an assessment on me to give me an idea of, okay, what's the best class for you to take? We have to know exactly what you're coming in with. So it's really the same concept. Now, after they take that assessment quiz, we want to bring them into what we call the NMO, New Member Orientation. That's when now it's them and other members just getting together where we now start exposing you. Maybe you're clueless as to what you want in real estate, but now we're, you know, we're exposing you to different types of strategies. You may say, oh, wow, that's, that's an interesting concept. That's something that I'd like to do. So we have a new member, and that new member orientation is usually about three hours, okay, very intense, but it's also a relaxing atmosphere to let people know that this is how our association can work with you. We start introducing our benefits because when you start choosing a strategy, we may have some benefits that you can actually work with. So once you've done the member orientation, what's next is we're going to have like a one on one session with you. OK, now that we've exposed you, now that you've been to orientation, let's get an idea of let's circle back to those three questions we asked you. You may now have picked a strategy. You say, OK, hey, you know what? I think I want to do this particular strategy. OK, great. Now we start looking at what type of resources you have. The one on one is important because now what we're going to do is we're going to give them a game plan. OK, it's like a 60 day game plan. So the fact that we've identified your strategy and now you have an idea of your market and you have an idea what your niche is for the next 60 days, how are you gonna make that go? And then we're gonna keep you accountable because we're gonna contact you on a regular basis to see where you are in this process. Now, after you've done that, you get an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one with the CEO of our company and owner and founder, Dr. Teresa Martin. 
And one thing I just want to say is that if you're going to meet with this woman, you better come correct. <laughs> because she's going to give you 150% of her energy. Okay? But the whole point of that is, we, we, know, we, we, you know, we kid around, just get people on. But the whole point of that is get an idea of what do we have in our tool chest that can actually help you, you know, what you're trying to do. That's why the power team was always so important to me because let's say you have two to three, but you don't have the resources. You could get somebody. Now they're connected to you, what makes these people now connected to you as well. If you don't have the money, you can get somebody. And same thing, what about with members working with each other? Remember, I met you at an orientation. It turns out we're like-minded. Hey, why we can work together. Now when we have our one-on-one -on -one with Dr. T, we, you know, we can kind of double our efforts. So that's kind of what we, what we do. And it usually takes about, you know, 30 to 45 days for that process to go through. And one of the things that, you know, I love about what we do, mm -hmm. and first of all, I love that you can spill that out and tell the audience because I'm checking on making sure you're doing the right stuff. So <laughs> it's great to know that you're doing the right stuff. But I don't really care about anyone's, you know, self-made millionaire success. Mm. What I do care about is team-made millionaires. Correct. Because for me, I don't believe that there's any self-made millionaires. They say that, but you mm -hmm. don't know everything and you can't do everything. You Correct. need a team in order to grow. So team-made millionaires is the process in which I want to hear. You know, I want to talk about the person who I made it and I made these other people millionaires as well, right? Because Correct. that's a true leader, Correct. right? So I love that, you know, that whole concept about what we do at RIA NYC because now you can. And that's so important to me. So I agree. One of the things that I do love also about mm -hmm. what you do is you are kind of the back end. Mm -hmm. So they don't really see all the things that you do to make things happen. So one of the things that I love that we have turned everything into a digital platform. It's a right. live virtual. So mm -hmm. even if you're not in our you know, physical location, we have members all over the country, which is so awesome. And in that itself. was amazing how we're able to do that. <laughs> we were having digital new member orientations, digital meetings. I didn't think that was possible because as you know, I'm a belly to belly, kneecap to kneecap kind of guy. I love meeting people and being with them, but now you're forced to kind of socially distance. So what did that mean? We just had to pivot. And in that, we've actually been able to really um, stretch our reach because now we've got people from all over the country onto our meetings. I mean, it was amazing that our last meeting, we had people from New Orleans. We had people from <laughs> Arkansas, <laughs> South Carolina. I was like, really? I mean, this is a, but the whole thing is, and, and it's so crazy because those territories, they actually have their own readers over there. But once they got a glimpse of what we were doing, they saying that you're giving some substance that I've never really heard before to this. Yeah, I heard you could do this type of strategy, but you guys are actually showing me how it can be done, you know, and you're actually willing to share information and resources in my success. Because like I said before, what we do is we create investors. That's what we do, okay? And that means that we, du we duplicate and multiply. RIA NYC has been in existence for over 10 years. And you think about all the multitude of investors that we've created, but I love the fact that many of them have actually come back to get to give back. You know, and a lot of, a lot of your um, uh, people who volunteer with you, yes. same thing. They're all investors. At one point, they were new. And they went from being new to now investing and now, you know, volunteering their time to give back. That's what I really love about the culture. And, and that's the, I mean, I can't say enough how proud I am mm -hmm. because whenever, whenever someone comes from the person checking you into our meeting to the person who's actually introducing someone or in the back end, all of our team are investors. Mm -hmm. It's not something where, you know, current investors, I'm sorry, right. current mm -hmm. investors <laughs> are actually physically investing right now, right? Um, and that's important to me because when you go to some you know, other organizations and things of that sort, mm -hmm. they have operations managers, they have people talking to people and enrolling people, but they don't really physically have investment property. And for me, you know, they can take it however they want to. Um, if you're gonna help me with my investments as a CPA, I kind of need you to be a real estate investor. Correct. I need you to be in the world that I, because you, you need to know it, practice right. it, mm -hmm. right? And I'm proud that I do have that. And as, same thing as if I'm talking to a realtor. You know, you can't tell me how to build and this is my the best house for me for my investment when you don't even have an investment property yourself. Correct. 
So my realtor happens to be an investor. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All these things, because I really need you to practice what you're actually telling me that you do. You can't help me do something that you haven't done. Yeah, I agree. You know, and, and that's what I believe in our organizations, all of our companies. There's nothing that you will ever come into Wealth Zone, Fiscally Fabulous, or RIA that we are telling you something that we are not currently doing because I believe in investments. I believe in building wealth. I believe mm. in business credit. I believe in all the things that I help my clients do. So right. I think that that is very important. Well, I think it was last year we were actually in a class. We had recommended a, you know, a class to our, you know, to, to our members and a lot of them had signed up. And what they were so impressed is that they attended the class, but they saw us there. And they came up to us and says, you know, I really appreciate the type of leadership because not only did you recommend this class, you're taking it yourself. You know, that means that you're a do it first leader. And in the military, that's what we always talk about. You always want to be a do it first leader. Never ask anybody to do things you wouldn't do yourself. Thank you so much for that. And when we return, we'll come back with Coach William Moore. Are you a woman in business or real estate looking to make the most of your income and create generational wealth? Then the GW5 Implementation Conference is for you. On November 10th through 12th, 2023, at the Westchester Marriott in Terrytown, New York, we'll be hosting a must-attend experience for women looking to create and maintain generational wealth. You'll get to interact with certified business professionals who'll teach you how to protect your assets, reduce your taxes, and increase your wealth. Just register today at gw5conference.com. It's not just a conference, it's a movement. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. We have been speaking with Coach William Moore about business credit and real estate. Coach Moore, what I want you to do is share, if someone is, is watching us right now and they don't have the money to get into real estate, what would you share with them that they need to do and then give them how they can contact you? Okay. What I would suggest is that those three questions we talked about, as far as if looking more real estate, you know, what's going to be your strategy? You know, what's going to be your niche and then where your market is. If you don't quite have the money, you can reach out at CoachWilliamMoore.com. Once again, CoachWilliamMoore.com. And start thinking about maybe some people you can actually bring into your group that may have the resources that you don't have in regards to that. The key thing is that you want to strive for success. You don't have to do it on your own. Maybe you might need some help by working with the group. But by doing that, what happens is, as a group, you're learning together and you're achieving together. And then when you're ready, you can actually go out on your own. But I would definitely reach out to me, CoachWilliamMoore.com. That way we can have a strategy session on that. Well, thank you so much, Coach. I loved our conversation about business credit and real estate. You know, it's always nice to have my husband in the chair. So thank you so much for sharing. Well, thank you for having me. When we return, I will share how you too can share your success stories on Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. Welcome to RIA NYC, where eager to learn entrepreneurs become wealthy and happy to teach investors. Nothing happens until you decide to change your life. Oh, and do it in great company. Call us today and build your empire. Welcome back to Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle. I am so excited that you tuned in to join us on our conversation of business credit and real estate. The purpose of Fiscally Fabulous Lifestyle is to take the fear out of business ownership and real estate investing. This is where we speak with successful entrepreneurs to get their insights, their experiences, and allow them to share their success stories so you too can have success. We'll see you back next week. Remember, you are Fiscally Fabulous and you are worth it. This has been Fiscally Fabulous with Dr. Teresa R. Martin Esquire. If you would like to learn more on how you can build generational wealth and leave a lasting legacy, go to www.enjoyyourlegacy.com and be sure to subscribe. Thank you for listening. Until next time.